Princess Reality TV, and today I'm starting this episode off with your boy Crouton from Bobby I Love You Per. Now, y'all know Crouton is the guy who said that he um, was, I would say, assaulted and things of that nature, uh, and he came on Bobby Light Show to come for Bobby. I guess he has love for Bobby, but Bobby felt like, you know, he is a little too feminine for this to have been something that, you know, is new to him. And um, I agree. But looking at some of his pictures, he do look more masculine. So, you know, I'm not sure. Oh, that's how you open a Corona. Um, pass for the bitch. Mm. Okay, you weren't supposed to drink, bitch. Hold on. <laughs> this bitch opens beer bottles. What is wrong with these Caucasian people? He, how you open it and drink my drink? <laughs> before me. My bitch said, like, I gotta get a sip of this before you. What's going on in America? Cool time. These white people are crazy. Yeah, okay, so, like, right now we're, like, in um, L.A. I'm already in L.A. Um, Crouton has came in from what? Tem is it Tampa, Florida? Yes, Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. You see, I've been paying attention. Tampa, Florida. Um, and we here. You get what I'm saying? Like, the premiere is Sunday. We're very excited. Thank you so much for Zeus. Like, y'all are amazing. They... Baby. <laughs> got dropped. <laughs> but... God is good. God is great. I'm very grateful right now. Like, I'm not trying to promote Corona, so nobody drinks Corona. Please. My mother would love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that needs to be in our TV show. You meeting my mom. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mom, this is my gay friend from LA. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Mammy. <laughs> She's probably really nice, like. So first off, Miss Mamas want y'all to know that, baby, they are grown before y'all get to coming for them and that they have some kind of show coming out, y'all. It's looking like it's going to be um, Miss Mamas, and I don't know about maybe on Crouton's OnlyFans. I don't know what they got going on, but if you're into that type of thing, you may want to check it out. Tune in to OnlyFans. <laughs> Bio. Bio. <laughs> and we also had Miss Mamas hanging out with Dingaling. Now Dingaling in the bed in the background, and uh, Miss Mamas talking about some doggone make you want to lead the one you with, child. They have a whole lot going on. Hey man, man, I told you if I lose my Twitter, I'm not doing this shit no more. Thirty-four thousand, bitch. That's like my thirtieth Twitter. Damn. My 30th Twitter. Now, all of a sudden, you know, Miss Mama has an issue with Big Bird because I guess, you know, he feels like him and Big Bird were cool to some degree, even though I always see Big Bird on um, social media with the other guys more. I don't know what kind of relationship they had in the background, but he's upset that Big Bird was sitting on a live with Cash and the other guys where they was discussing him. And he's saying that he's going to beat up all four of whoever and Cash is talking about he's going to slap Miss Mama. So I don't even know if we're having a doggone reunion or not. But if we do, it's going to be a hot doggone mess. You better believe that. And then no other color, bitch. Why does Crush hate Cameron so bad is what it says. They mean, they mean Cash. Uh, they wrote Crush with a K? Smack the shit out that bitch. Hey, y'all. Uh, you want to know why I'm going to smack her? Just for saying we ain't had that energy at the hotel. That, that one, was, that that part one was confessional. Whack. That part was whack. Yeah. That one confessional stuck with me, bitch, because you 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 doing a lot. Yeah. At the hotel. That's so sweet. Thank you. What the bitch, you wasn't, I'm going to say it again. You wasn't even there to be able to even acknowledge what did or didn't happen at the hotel, bitch, because you weren't, you couldn't sit with us. You were scared. You were scared to come into the lion's damn bitch. And now we have Miss Natalie Nunn. Y'all know the queen of the baddies. And um, 
she basically, in so many words, want to let y'all know that she had the mumbling, she had the cackling, she got them scared, shook, panicking, and she ain't worried about no doggone body because she's going to be the queen no matter how they shuffle. Because apparently, uh, people from another network, I ain't going to say no name, Big Licks, uh, they've been popping their stuff. Now, this has been going on for a while, even with the creation of Big Licks Bags Collection, and I spoke about this before even uh about i feel like a comparison between season two to charm school uh from oxygen as well you know big lex feels like her girls got what it takes to stand up next to the old bad girls or even the baddies now in my opinion me looking at the people that she have on her show it's not giving louis vuitton uh chanel prada gucci it's just not. So I don't know if she's talking about that they can stand up to the bad girls or the baddies financially, or is she just singing bad? Because Big Lex feels as though a person is not bad unless she feels like it's to her part of being bad. So if being bad means that you got to come in there fighting, then that's just what it is in her opinion. My opinion in being bad is a bitch with intelligence and a bag. Forget all that fighting. That ain't going to get you no A couple strikes in the streets. That don't equal no money. So I personally know a lot of the old bad girls. And when I say stepping financially, dressing-wise, fighting-wise as well. So I'm, I don't know. I don't I don't think they're on that level definitely financially to be messing with any of the old bad girls. Because a lot of those girls actually got a big bag. And as far as the baddies go, a lot of them got a big bag as well. So I think uh, she need a few more seasons maybe and bring the same girls back, let them get their money up a little bit more. Then we may be able to talk about something. Now, y'all know that Baddies West was actually casting on yesterday, and I'm sure they're going to show a premiere for it uh, on the Zeus Network. You know, they had Janisha uh, as the host, as usual, and then they had a special guest, host slash judge was Christian Rock and surprisingly enough y'all they had Tommy Lee on the main stage now y'all know Tommy Lee had that debacle on the conversation that was going on with Natalie Nunn y'all also know that Natalie Nunn had an issue with Roly Poly but clearly uh Natalie and Tommy being on the same stage has came to some type of understanding and honestly I don't really think they had too much of a major beef you know Tommy got her a bag. She act a fool now. She cut up in the Zeus Network house, but uh, she had got her a bag. So I guess, you know, they both got paid and they letting bygones be bygones, apparently. Now, she also got Suki Hana on the main stage. So we'll be able to see her, of course, like I stated, when they put the episode or two up from Baddies West onto the Zeus Network. Now, and the funny part about that, y'all, is that there is already some of Now This TV um, stars wanting to come over to Betty. So, uh, she may have put her foot in her own mouth because we have a few girls from uh, Now This TV Network trying to come over to Zeus Network. Uh, some being pink and uh, a few of the socialites that revolve themselves around the network, such as Benderella. Um, also got SoCal. Y'all know SoCal from uh, Zodiac House. And also, she was on South Central Baddies. Y'all already know we fucking outside, you heard? We outside, you heard? We outside with it. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. We outside. We outside. Season 3, Baddies West, Facebook. Listen, but do you got a pink band though? Do you? Do you got a pink band though? Now, recently, Pink and Big Lex got into it online, and it was some going back and forth, and I don't know, Big Lex was popping it on her live and allegedly brought Pink up. Pink was saying something came out talking about Big Lex is a prostitute or something, and that, I guess, the dude that runs now this TV or the dude that she's dating is her pimp, and all of this doggone craziness, and speaking about pimps, y'all know uh, Barbie from Jocelyn's Cabaret, she apparently has a show coming up on now this TV. <laughs> And this time, I'm on Now That's TV, the 
hottest network. It's Blueface Barbie, and this time, I'm finally fucking single. So bring all my bad bitches, all my rich dudes, and we're going up. It's Blueface Barbie, I'm back on your TV screens, and I know you guys are wondering, what? I'm finally single, and I'm back outside. I'm looking for the hottest bitches and the richest, flyest dudes to come be demons on Barbie Wants Folk. Now, you all know, uh, like I said, that Christian was a Jewish slash host. And then they had the girl Scarface in there. Y'all know her and Christian had beef in previous fights and stuff on um, South Central Betty. So, uh, I don't think she had any altercation with her at the auditions. I guess we'll just have to wait to see. But she did come out and say that one of her friends came to audition for the show. And I don't know who it was that came in her friend, but Christian ended up jumping in. She said a good friend who came personally to the baddies with got jumped, had to jump in and handle it. Case closed. Now, Gunna K have been going through the ringer this year. You all know we, he's had a lot going on from the counterfeit money situation to uh, Anthony Uncensored alleging that he stole some Gucci slides and some and a Chanel bracelet. And then he ended up getting jumped by Milan Christopher and Rio and everything. And I think that Gutter is thinking about filing a lawsuit. And apparently he was on IG and he was talking about the fact that he had got attacked. And I don't know if he was saying that people were making light of it. And maybe he said something to the likes that if a person was, you know, another skin tone or something of that nature, that, you know, it will be an uproar about it or something of the nature. And I don't know who, but someone obviously probably reported it. And IG took it as racism. So therefore, they have deactivated his page for I don't know the what time this doggone year. But hopefully he can get his page back and hopefully he gets some justice or resolution as far as the situation that went on between him and Milan. So he said as soon as he mentioned about being attacked and jumped, my page get disabled for 24 hours. That's so weird. Like, what the freak? I ain't never pulled a race car, but let my name would have been Nick. Oh, they would have been requesting Jesus to punish the mother effers. I'm so upset. So that was about it for this episode of Famous Reality TV. And y'all already know by the end of the day, I will be back to update y'all with more. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell because you do not want to miss anything, baby. We be dropping back to back. This is where the sh get real. Friend of me, friend of me, any me. All these next next just want to be a mini me. All these next next just want to be a mini me. All these next next just want to be a mini me. Friend of me, friend of me, any me. All these next next just want to be a mini me.